everybody it's Jennifer back with another Saturday Rise today hope you're doing well it's a chilly and snowy morning here in, in the Rockies so and it's been quite an active morning in the city today but that is city life so here we go um, for today's Saturday Rise I felt inspired to chat with you a little bit about life coaching I've had a couple of inquiries this week about it and um, you know sometimes I'm just in this world and and doing this and sometimes I forget that people don't automatically know what what a life coach does and and the benefits of hiring a coach. So I thought for this Saturday Rise, um, it's definitely about rising in your life. So why I named the, my business Rise Life Strategies. So I, I definitely, I thought I would just um, go through uh, some benefits of life coaching and, and who might hire a life coach in life and what you can kind of expect. So I actually wanted to start with you. Um, and where you might be. So a, a couple of different scenarios of maybe people who might be in the market or are looking to partner with a life coach. Um, maybe you're feeling stuck in life or you're feeling uninspired and lack passion, passion that maybe you once had. Um, and you know, you know you want more, but you don't exactly know what that is right now. And you don't really know how to get started. Uh, partnering with a life coach can help you in a way that the, the coach, and, and I always say partnering with a life coach because it really is like a partnership. Like you are here bringing the desire or the challenge to the table and you work with a life coach um, to focus on you, to ask the right questions that guide you, to pull out more of what you want and more of what's keeping you in this stuck, lackluster, uninspired space. And by uncovering that, you move forward with the life coach uh, to help, the life coach is there to help guide and devise a plan for you to actually move forward and give you tools and give you some structure and, and provide accountability to help you move forward and get you to a space where you want to be. Another scenario might be, you know, maybe you do know what you want and you have goals and maybe you've had these goals on your list for a few years, but you're still not reaching them. Maybe starting that business or, or losing, you know, the weight you want to lose. Um, and a life coach is there to really can come in and again, focus on you, ask those focused, targeted questions, work with different methods and tools to help figure out why you're not moving forward. Maybe there's some old beliefs that are stuck in your mind um, that are blocking you from moving forward. And a life coach can help uncover that. And once it's uncovered, create a plan and create some solutions around it so you can continue to move forward and get to where you want to be. When you come to a life coach, you as the client, you're really in the driver's seat. It's, it's about you. It's about where you are. It's about where you want to go. And again, even if you're not totally clear, you know that you want to go somewhere. You know that you want to move on from where you are now and get somewhere. And so the conversation is really about you and you're in the driver's seat about what, what it is, what topic you want to focus on and where you want to get going. And the coach is really sort of in the passenger seat next to you, with you, but guiding you along. Um, with coaching, you know one of the things I learned when I hired a coach and when I started going through the coaching certification was that the conversation really stays on you. You'll notice maybe now, um, after I'm about to say this, talking with friends, talking with family, even talking with colleagues or people that you know, you know, if you're coming to them with a problem, you might find that the conversation can kind of go back and forth between you and that other person. So maybe you present a problem to someone like, oh, I just, I'm having such a hard time. I'm yo-yo dieting. I had such a hard time keeping this weight off or losing this weight. And the other person might respond with, oh yeah, me too. And that happens to me all the time. And now all of a sudden the conversation is focused on them. The wonderful thing about life coaching is the conversation stays on you. So you can really dig deeper and really uncover what it is that's keeping you stuck from losing that weight or that's keeping you in the yo-yo uh, dieting cycle or, you know, keeping you from 
not starting that business or not doing what you want to do or keeping you from not booking that vacation that you so that you've been talked about <laughs> you've been talking about taking for a few years. Um, it's a, one of the huge benefits of life coaching is the conversation really stays on you. It's about you, and really, you look in society these days, and and sometimes, you know, you might realize like, gosh, there's there's not a lot of times when it really is all about you, and there there's a huge benefit to that because if you're feeling stuck and uninspired, and you're not passionate about life, and you're not doing something that you love, then that's probably a signal that you need to take a little time out for yourself and get yourself on the right track so that you are more energized and, and feeling better and loving what you're doing. Because when you're in that space and when you're feeling better and you're moving forward into a life that you really want and you're doing what you really want, everyone else around you benefits. Yes, your family benefits, your spouse, your children, your colleagues, the company you work for is going to benefit, all those people in those places are going to benefit more if you are happy and if you are doing what you really want to do. It radiates out and you're more passionate, you're more energized, and you're, you're uh, more happy about what you're doing. And what else about life coaching? Um, in terms of what um, I do, I, I do life transformation coaching. And I also do um, intuitive guidance. And what that means is I really, um, I have a, a really good sense of, I really tap into my intuition a lot and can really hear maybe really what's going on in those lower levels um, that I'm hearing people say. And I can really tap into shifts in energy to maybe point out what's happening with people. I also um, study intuition and, and intuitive healing so that's something if people are interested in that, that I offer is to clear those energies in, in people's auras and in their space that might be blocking them, those energetic cords that might be um, keeping them attached to people or things in the past that aren't serving them. That's where the intuitive life guidance comes from. Um, trying to think of what else. I'm not, I'm definitely not scripted today. What else is important about life coaching for you to know? Oh, accountability is a huge thing. And having a life coach, sometimes people, the, you know, especially the people with the goals and they know what they want and they're not getting there. Sometimes just having that accountability is everything. Um, <laughs> my, light, my little light just went off. Sorry. It's just been this morning. I think I've done this video like five times, so... Anyway, just hang in there with me. Hopefully the content's good. I guess the lighting and all that's not always perfect. Um, anyway, accountability. Sometimes just knowing that you're going to have that call with a coach weekly or biweekly, however often you do it, and just knowing that you have to get certain things done and, and follow up and touch base with that person is huge for people. It really is. It's really huge for for people to have that point of accountability and somebody that they have to check in with. And one of the big things too with that is if you if you don't meet the accountability and if you're not checking off um, the goals and the, the targets that you have weekly or in between your sessions, then again, the life coach can come in and you can both look at that. And it's not in this punishable way. Like you, you know, you did something bad. It's like, okay, well, let's look. So you're still not moving forward. So Let's look further at, at what's keeping you blocked and and uncover this and provide a solution and and come up with a solution together so you can finally move forward and figure out, you know, even as you're working, if you're still not getting certain things done, um, what it is that's keeping you blocked as you're going through the process. So I'm trying to think of what else that would be beneficial for you to know about life coaching. It's not therapy. One of the big differences between life coaching and therapy is therapists tend to focus on past trauma and past events that involve two or more people. So maybe um, traumatic events from childhood or even recent um, traumatic events, maybe maybe a, a bad relationship ending or you know a divorce or or a death or, or something something involving yourself and other one or more people. A therapist tends to heal what has happened, work to heal what has happened in the past, whereas life coaching 
really focuses on today and forward. It's future focus. Life coaching is future focus on where you're wanting to go. And sure, as you get into the process, you might uncover, uh, as I had said earlier, like limiting beliefs or old beliefs that are keeping you stuck that might have been created when you were younger. But you know, that's something that we can um, address and and correct and continue to move forward. So that's one of the main differences: is life coaching as future focus today, and what we want to create going forward. It's about who you are becoming. Um, life coaching and mentoring. There are some coaches that mentor. Um, but life coaching is really about, you know, mentoring can be more um, kind of giving you answers and recommendations um, and specific actions to take to get somewhere. Usually a mentor is someone that you have that's in the same field that you want to be in and is 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 giving you the answers and, and telling you what they've done to be successful. Whereas life coaching is really rooted in you are whole and you really do have the answers inside of you and the coach is there to work with you to pull out those answers and help you navigate um, figuring out where you want to go. So it's really not giving you all the answers. The life coach really doesn't have the specific answers um, that you're looking for. Those answers are inside of you and the coach is there to guide you and to, to help you uncover those. Um, what else? I'm trying to think if there's anything else about life coaching that's important for you to know. I don't know. I think that's about it. What do you think, you guys? What, I mean, was that clear? Do you kind of understand now what a life coach does? And what other questions do you have about it, about coaching and what it can do for you? One example I should share, share with a, a recent client is it's just been so fascinating to watch. You know, she's had issues with, um, this video is getting pretty long, um, with, with being in choice and trust and worry. And it's been really interesting to see her start to shift her perspective that she's, she's in choice about the situations in her life. She's in choice of how she responds and how she looks at, at at situations in her life. And this is really something that's new for her. She's like, what? I have a choice in life. I have a choice. And I have a choice to not be worried about things. Or I have a choice to, to trust more. She, it's just something that was completely foreign to her. And now she's realizing and and seeing spaces in her life, you know, in her personal life and in, in her work life where she does have a choice of how she reacts and how she responds to things. So it's it's wonderful to see that transition and see her uncover um, just a new perspective on how she's looking at things. That's a huge thing. Um, I had another client who was really kind of stuck in the middle of being a, a mother, a grandmother, and a daughter, and really being stuck in the middle and not finding a lot of time for herself. And through some coaching, um, came through you know, what she really loved and yoga was something that she really loved. And she had thought about, um, uh, maybe, maybe taking some yoga teacher training courses and it had been a few months, but I had just heard that she has signed up for coaches actually, co or for training. I think this month she's starting. So that's a wonderful thing that she's finally getting out and realizing, even though she's a care caregiver and has family around her who she loves and adores, she still needs to carve out some time for herself to do something that's that's um, important to her and she's doing that now. So that's really exciting to hear. And it's so exciting to, to witness. That's why I love doing this work. It's just so exciting to witness people shift and come into a new knowing and start taking action and, and from a place of inspiration and, and being um, passionate about what they're doing. So I hope that helps a little bit. Sorry, this video is a little bit long today. Um, but I hope that that helps and kind of explain more about what life coaching is. If you have any other questions, please comment below. Um, if you're still unsure, if I wasn't clear about something, um, that, that what life coaching can do for you. Um, it's really important. It's something I'm really passionate about. That's why I'm doing this work. Just want um, everybody to get unblocked and get unstuck and untangled and move forward and, and live a happy life and live a life that you want to live. And, and I promise, I promise that <clears throat> the world will benefit. The world really needs it now. The world really needs us to get unstuck and and 
really to get over all of our stuff, to be quite honest, and um, live our lives of passion and, and live live the lives that we really want to live. So it's a benefit to you and to all those around you, I promise. So enjoy the rest of your day and we will talk to you next Saturday.